Well, it's been ten years, but for Middle Earth fans, the wait is nearly over. The first film in the Hobbit trilogy is released next month. This prequel to the blockbuster Lord of the Rings films has been made in New Zealand by the same cast and the same crew. Our culture editor, Matthew Kane has been to meet Sir Ian McKellen, who plays, inevitably, the wizard, Gandalf. Last night, the city of Wellington hosted a very unusual film premiere. Far to the east, over ranges and rivers. An unexpected journey is the first of a three-part adaptation of Tolkien's The Hobbit. Made by Peter Jackson and the team behind The Lord of the Rings, it's one of the most eagerly awaited films in years. But resting at home in London, the actor who plays Gandalf hasn't yet seen the finished film. The book of The Hobbit is very different tonally to The Lord of the Rings books. Is this going to be reflected in the films? Yes, I expect so, but I haven't seen. But, I mean, looking at the casting, you, you know, when your main part's played by Martin Freeman, who's a superb comedian. I'm going on an adventure! But then, on the fringes of the action, um, uh, Barry Humphreys, Dame Edna, <laughs> as the great goblin, who I uh, satisfactorily dispatch, uh, and uh, Stephen Fry. And Billy Connolly in there somewhere? Uh, Billy Connolly. Uh, I mean those sort of iconic uh, comedians uh, and and then a, a cast with Jimmy Nesbitt onwards who are ve very alert to to fun uh, and games and uh, I think that's what was required by Peter. So does Gandalf have any comedy lines then? Does he have much fun? Mm, yes, enough, yes. He's, I mean, he's got a wry sense of humour. There, there was a moment when we were all drinking heartily, the characters, and he suggested that Gandalf should be a bit tipsy. I, of course, was horrified as the guardian of uh, Gandalf's respectability and said, no, it's absolutely impossible. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't be drunk. Oh, quite a merry gathering. <laughs> and, uh, but it's Gandalf the Grey. I mean, in, in Lord of the Rings, I, there were two Gandalfs. Uh, Gandalf the White took over in, in, in parts two and three, and Jackson and I ne never really took to Gandalf the White. We were always wanting the old boy back, you know, who sleeps under hedges and... Uh, likes a party and lets off fireworks, you know. And was it fun to reconnect with that Gandalf, the Grey? It was. It, it, it was disturbingly easy to find myself just able to do Gandalf, you know, just without really thinking. You shall not pass! When you were actually making the film, did you feel it was a weight of expectation? No, it isn't. On the contrary, it's, it, it's buoyant. It, uh, it, uh, it's, it's a luxury that most filmmakers don't have, to, to know that people are going to come and see their film. I mean, often enough, and I've been in this position, you're making a small independent movie and you wonder, will it ever be released and will there be enough money to publicise it if it is? None of this applies to, to um, an international um, established... I, I'm, I'm not going to just use that horrible word, which I've forgotten. Franchise. Franchise. Ah! <laughs> But well, having said that, they've split this book up into three films, and a lot of people are saying that must be commercial reasons. <clears throat> Does that not feel like it's... Well, I'm, I'm sure the enthusiasm with which Warner Brothers said, yes, please, why not 13? <laughs> uh, and the fans would say the same, of course. Uh, there is a market, and, 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 and uh, it can be satisfied. As well as his work as an actor, Ian McKellen is a prominent gay activist. As one of the few openly gay actors working in Hollywood, he challenges the idea that cinema audiences won't accept a gay actor playing a straight romantic lead. The audience is a bit more sophisticated or down-to-earth than, than producers, but then no-one ever looks to Hollywood for advancing social justice. I mean, they, they were very late to discover that women had a place in the world, or that black people did. So, I mean, the gays, I mean... They'll get there eventually, and I, I just feel sorry for any young person who says to themselves, or is told, more likely, that um, they can't hope to have the career they want unless, the, unless they lie about their sexuality. An unexpected journey will be released in cinemas on the 13th of December, 75 years after The Hobbit was published. Tolkien has also been criticised for his crude approach to female and black characters. But now, unexpectedly, he may just be doing his bit to change attitudes towards gay people.